Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're making a return to Timberborn, which has actually recently just received a massive update that adds a whole bunch of brand new stuff that I'm super looking for forward to getting in and checking out. Uh, specifically, this big old update number two, which is a massive update, to the second large update, I believe, to Timberborn, adds uh, a brand new type of, a brand new type of worker. That's right, golems. Uh, golems will now exist in the world of the beaver. Right, uh, okay. Uh, if you've never heard of Timberborn before, it's kind of like a, a beaver-based colony sim, um, city builder style game, uh, but more so than that, it's got a bunch of really, really, really interesting, like, fluid and water mechanics that basically make damming uh, all but inevitable and truly unbelievably fun and entertaining uh, to do. So that's what we're going to try and do over the course of this, uh, over the course of this little run. Okay, so a couple of things that we want to get uh, that we want to get sorted straight from the get go, and it's probably worth talking a little bit about the map. Um, I've chosen to play on the mountain range map because I think it presents uh, probably I would say the most interesting and varied, uh, I guess, area of uh, of gameplay. Uh, as you can see, there's an area of ground that is around the the water, which is green and lush, and that's nice. But then there's also a whole bunch of a whole bunch of a horribleness, dry tundra sort of stuff. Uh, in the middle, uh, in the middle of, in the middle of nothingness, uh, we need to make sure. We absolutely, categorically need to make sure that we can, we can terraform the, uh, the landscape around here in order to make it, in order to make it look nice. Because that is, believe it or not, a primary, a primary concern of mine. Let's bump the music ever so slightly there, and then let's jump into things here. Right. So a couple of things that we need to get sorted straight from the get go. Um, we need to get wood production uh, up and running. Now, wood production is quite important. Believe it or not, beavers uh, need quite a lot of wood. That's right. I realized, by the way, that there's a huge amount of uh, a huge amount of beaver jokes that can be uh, that can be made at my expense and the poor beavers' expenses as well. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, we're going to build a lumberjack flag. Doesn't cost us anything to build, but once we've got the lumberjack flag up and running, uh, we're going to actually be able to mark all of these trees for chopping. Now, these trees, uh, very specifically, uh, do not come back. Uh, that is worth that is worth bearing in mind. Uh, it is a it is a non-renewable resource. It's not necessarily the end of the world, uh, because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna worry about that later on. Um, but we do have a, a, a sort of limited amount of a limited amount of uh, a limited amount of trees that we can take down. But as you can see, the range stretches quite far, so we should be able to yoink all of this. Uh, which is marvelous. Okay, um, what else do we need? Well, we need food production, and we're going to get that food production started with a gatherer's flag. Everything in this game needs to be connected uh, by paths, by the way, so it's mission critical that we get all of uh, these paths set up and working. That's going to be pretty darn good. We also need to probably think about some storage. Um, a log pile for storage is, is not a bad idea, and having that in the center of town is also not a terrible idea. In fact, I say center of town. Perhaps I mean literally right next to the lumberjack flag. That's probably pretty good. Small warehouse is also probably worth us getting. Let's maybe build that directly opposite the log pile. So we'll store all log-related products in the log pile and all non-related log-related products in the warehouse. This includes berries, books, bread, carrots, etc. Uh, gears, explosives, golem chassis, golem heads, golem limbs. Goodness gracious me, we're going to be building all of those, I very, very much hope, uh, over the course of, uh, of this little playthrough. Uh, right, okay, landscaping, yeah, we can build, we can build dams, and I am actually interested in building dams. Probably not, like, immediately, but there is definitely something to be said for, uh, for damming up the river as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, right, what else do we need to get? Well, we need to get a water pump, and we're going to get a water pump probably right about over here. There we go. Marvelous. Okay, and then we can probably go into, like, three times speed as well. Uh, so, that gets us somewhat of our food production. Um, we've got the ability to, to gather berries, and we'll have the ability to store them um, pretty darn soon as well. Uh, do we need to get another lumberjack flag? I mean, I don't necessarily need to. But I feel like maybe in the grand scheme of things, having a second lumberjack flag in this vicinity mm, wouldn't be the worst eat. idea in the world. Uh, so what else can we talk about? Well, we can talk a little bit about beaver well-being. Uh, so beaver well-being uh, is worth noting because we want our beavers to be happy. We need them to get shelter at the moment, but they're 
hunger needs, their thirst needs, and their sleep needs are all currently being met. We can actually change the number of hours that they work each and every day uh, by adjusting this toggle up and down. I think 16 hours, to be honest, seems like a pretty good amount to me. Um, but, you know, that's that's definitely worth keeping in mind. Uh, we need to get research started as well, which is what science donates up in the top left-hand corner. And we've also got materials, we've got food, we've got logs, and then we've also got water, which is one of the requirements for uh, for basic thirst needs. So that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use this. We're going to use these logs to build the uh, to build the water pump. After after that's all done, we should hopefully see if we can maybe get some small water tanks. Which I'm hoping uh, we're going to be able to just stick like here, probably three or so. And that's just going to allow us to store water. Now, that is very, very important because we don't exactly know when. We don't exactly know when the drought is going to... Did I... I did the path wrong. That's embarrassing. Uh, we don't know when the drought is going to come. And that is absolutely, absolutely worth noting uh, because it is just going to happen. Like, that's, that was so stupid. Uh, because one of these days... It's not going to be any time soon, I, I do indeed hope, uh, but the game will literally just become become dry, and so we need to try and we need to try and fix that. Um, we should be able to get enough water. People are starting to go a little bit thirsty here. I'm not overly concerned about that, but yeah, that's okay. Right. Um, the other thing that we need to bear in mind is that we can probably think about building over uh, this little uh, this little gap here. Um, there are some specific things to consider uh, in terms of pads and structures. Yeah, so we could, we could get a platform or we could get some stairs in order to build over here. Now, we technically have the ability to dam. Hold on, let me, um, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for, video game? Landscaping, yeah. So we technically have the ability to dam. Now, I do like the idea of, um, of building a dam. Now, a dam is a very specific type of, of water water flow device. Is this is this the dam that I want to that I want to build? I think I want to build a dam. I want to build a dam like over. You know what? I do want to build a dam over there, sure. It says that it's too far away from the center of a district. The district is not something that really worries me. I think. Will that take it? Yes, that will take it within that will take it within distance. Now, it's worth noting, by the way, that the dam consumes quite a lot of logs and also doesn't block up the entirety of the river. So there's still gonna be a lot of leakage, but at least for now, I think that, that should at least that should at least alleviate uh, some of the water losses if the uh, if the if the, 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 the times do become do become drier. Anyway, so we've got that all sorted. I would love to get a farm, and actually I'm going to I'm going to sort out Gonna sort out. I mean, so there's a length of there's a length of district, by the way. So district one, uh, district center. We can only have like a maximum a maximum length of uh, of a district. It's probably not gonna be an idea to extend that. Probably for a while. Yeah, we're prioritizing the small tank construction at the moment. But anyway, I want to build over to here. But we need to bear in mind that path lengths can only or extending the path can only extend the uh, the length of the, of the district so much. Uh, so it might actually be a better idea to perhaps get a, a food production source over here. The reason that I was thinking that this might not be such a great idea, I'll build a, sure, I'll build a farmhouse over here. The reason that I was thinking that it might not be a great idea to build the, the farmhouse over here specifically is because just the, the, the volatility of the weather. Um, yeah, it's just, you gotta bear in mind the fact that the weather, the weather will turn dry, and if we build it over in this vicinity, then we can't build, we can't build and plant our crops. Uh, carrots, for example, we can't build and plant our crops over here, or we can, but they're not gonna, it's not gonna be a super, uh, a super effective thing to do. Right, we're starting the damming process, that's marvelous. Let's start the carrot planting process. Again, we're not gonna have, like, a tremendous amount of real estate space over here, but at least, at least it'll be something. We can maybe fill in this the gaps in the plants over here, that might be worthwhile. Again, this kind of feels a bit temporary, um, for now anyway. We need 25 logs in order to fill this, in order to fill this farmhouse out, uh, that's fine. I would love to get a forester, um, but we can't do that quite yet because we don't have any science points, and there's a whole bunch of buildings that you're probably noticing are locked, but, uh, are locked behind. 
Ooh, grilled, grilled vegetables. That's cool. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of buildings that are locked behind uh, unlocks here, and we're going to sort that out very, very shortly, in fact, by getting a inventor. Uh, beaver only. Only beavers are allowed to work in this workplace, but every hour it gives us a science point. We are probably going to be getting quite a few inventors. This is going to be a low priority thing to do, but we'll at least get it done, and we'll at least get that... Uh, get that dam sorted as well. As you can see, I think it's a very, very slight change, but you can already see that a slight increase in the water level has taken place. That is very, very good to note. So we're going to be saving a little bit of water. Um, we also ideally need to be holding some water in these water tanks. There is a little bit of water in here. It's difficult to see unless I'm directly above. There is a little bit of water in these water tanks, but, um, but again, when things dry up, which inevitably will happen, uh, we need to make sure that we're we're ready to we're ready to cope. Right. So the dam, by the way, has officially been built, which is marvelous. This district, yeah, this district has officially been extended over to the other side. That's marvelous. Um, it doesn't look like the lumberjack flags have been extended over to that side. That's not necessarily the end of the world. We're we're quite happy, quite happy, quite comfortable with the uh, with the way that things are at present. This is all set to uh, to be demolished, or should I say? to be chopped down, and that's fine. We're currently spending most of our logs on the farmhouse. I'm very, very okay with that. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Um, we can also take a little, bit of a, a little bit of a look at our population, see what's going on. We've got 10 adults, one beaver child, which is marvelous. We've got six workers, and we have four beavers that are unemployed. Looks like we've got a plentiful amount of food, although that being said, we have literally just run out of berries. The berry bushes do regrow as long as there is as long as there is water in the ground, which there is, but it's very, very important that we also have uh, you know, for example, carrots. Carrots are carrots are our important our important food uh, food source. In fact, maybe Yeah, maybe we just like literally Try and populate both the, yeah, both this side of the pathway and this side of the pathway. Now, uh, it's also very, very important to bear in mind, I, I do need to try and start thinking about my, my beaver's overall general health. Uh, we've only got two unemployed beavers, I would hasten to add at this present moment, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll be, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'd like to get some beaver houses. Um, so this will help fulfill the sleep and the shelter need for both of my, uh, well, for all of my beavers. Um, it's also worth noting, by the way, uh, as you were probably able to see, if you were carefully observing. Let's do... Let's do this. Sure. If you were carefully observing, you probably noticed that there is an element of, uh, of three-dimensionality in this game. Uh, that is to say, if I wanted to build a house on top of a house on top of a house or a house on top of the hill, and some stairs up to that, uh, I could very, very much do that. And that's something that we're going to be doing uh, over the course of time. In Paths and Structures, there's a there's a tool here called the Platform, which is very, very useful. One of the first things that we probably want to consider getting up and running. Uh, we will be making full and hearty use of the Platform um, over the course of time. For sure. And in fact, what's the other thing that we need to make use of? We need to make use of... Where is it? Uh, yeah, a levee, yes, blocks water completely. Other buildings can be built on its top. I absolutely categorically want to unlock this. We need 120 points, we've only got 19, uh, but we'll get there. We will get there, no doubt about it at all. Also, paths. Can I... Yeah, I can build a path across the top. That will extend the, uh... That will extend things somewhat. Your beavers are happier than ever. You've reached a new well-being high score. Marvelous. Is that because... Yep, that's because most of them have shelter. We're alleviating that negative... Uh, that negative three... Negative three stress. Wet fur? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Wet beaver fur. Unbelievable. Uh, but no, that's that's fine. What are you doing? You're still, you're still chomping, you're still chomping all these logs down. That's absolutely marvelous. And the lodge is coming along just fine and dandy. Cool. All right. So we've got some, we got a decent amount of, of water storage. I think we probably want to, well, we definitely want to try and proceed to get the, to get the new, the new buildings. So not the observatory. I don't believe that's new. It might be new. I'm not sure. But definitely the golem, the golem part factory. What does that require? That requires 50 planks, 25 gears, and 15 steel as well. Also, building is full. Marvelous. Excellent. Um, yeah, let's see if we can try and, let's see if we can try and do that. Let's also see if we can try and build anything else. There's the campfire, which we haven't built. There's the rooftop terrace. Gives social life. Um, let me grab the 
campfire. We'll grab the campfire over here. That'll be important to get up and running. And then I think we're going to see if we can try and maybe, maybe, just maybe, uh, accelerate our accelerate our progress upwards. I really would like to... Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Have we satisfied another goal? Well-being is four. I guess we've just satisfied all of the shelter needs. But we will get the social life. The social life. Uh, and actually, I suppose we could get the rooftop terrace if we need to. But we need some way to get upstairs. And of course, we don't have the ability to, uh, to unlock stairs yet. We still have two unemployed beavers. That's fine. Uh, we've got two beaver children. Beavers can now uh, have children. That's the great thing. Uh, is that I believe once they're in lodges, we can we can actually hopefully grow our population just a little bit, which is going to be marvelous. Uh, the other thing that we need to bear in mind is that we need to see if we can try and get a forester. That's going to cost us 60 points. That is probably worthwhile. Gear workshop, all that sort of stuff. Very, very, very necessary. Yeah, these trees will not regrow. Uh, it's watered and alive. It died. It's watered and alive. This is still growing. Still growing, still growing. Yeah, we need to try and we need to try and grow. We need to try and grow our own trees. So it's probably worth us getting the forester at the first available opportunity. And I tell you what, we'll also get also get a little section out here. And I think we'll plonk down another inventor. Yeah. Twelve logs. How many logs do we have at the moment? Thirty logs. That seems like a good amount. Uh, cycle one, day ten. Marvelous. And presumably, yep, we've just hit that uh, that campfire, that campfire milestone, which is fantastic. We can unlock a new faction if we reach an average well-being of 15 whilst playing our current beaver faction. What's the difference between beaver factions? You'd have to ask a beaver expert, I'm afraid. Anyway, uh, the news is looking the news is looking pretty darn good. Uh, you know what I would like to do? I would like to unmark tree cutting area. Unmark this entire area. Yeah, unmark this entire area and literally just chop down these trees over here. Because I would like to extend the path as fully and as completely as I possibly can. And then we'll see. There we go. Beautiful. We'll see how far this district can sort of take us. I mean, it'll take us up to about here. Just about the edge of the tree line. However, if I was to build... If I was to build a path all the way out here. Realistically, maximum length. Oh wow, holy cow, it takes us a long takes us a long, long way out into this area. Well that's quite handy, actually, for a, a litany of reasons. Yeah, that's very, very handy. How many meals do we have? Not enough Not enough food. Not enough food. These guys do not have any wood to chop down, that's fine. Um we'll nab ourselves a what am I looking for? Let's get a forester, 60 science points to get, and I might as well build it. Might as well build it over here. I don't necessarily have to build it in... I don't necessarily have to build it in the... Uh, in the unwatered zone. But it probably helps to do that. Uh, and then we can... And then we can plant trees and bushes, blueberries... Oh, I should plant some blueberries. Let's get some more blueberry bushes over here which I think we've mostly satisfied already. And then dandelions. Mm, do I care about dandelions? No. Birch, pine, or maple, or chestnut. Probably a mixture. 12 days, 9 days for one. Maple syrup. Oh, that's cool. And chestnuts as well. What's that? Pine resin? Gathered by the tapper shack. Okay. Can we grow maybe a selection? There we go. Okay, marvelous. Right. Okay, uh, it's worth noting, by the way, that the forester apparently requires planks. Now, planks are going to be our first, and uh, no doubt... No doubt, the first of many uh, advanced buildings. So, in order to do that, we need to get a lumber mill. However, note up in the top uh, right-hand corner of the lumber mill, it says 50 horsepower uh, is required, which means that we actually need to get our first bit of power uh, infrastructure, which is a water wheel. And that is going to have to go somewhere there. And then let's get... 
something like that something like that something like that literally just re just require logs for for all of this a lot of logs don't get me wrong a lot of logs but it's where it's worth doing we're future proofing this situation and we stick the lumber mill over there perfect right again it's gonna take a little while for this all to get built up but when it happens it will be marvelous right do we have the logs to get it all built not yet not yet at all okay we've hit yet more goals people are eating carrots oh marvelous people are eating carrots well that's great to see i'm delighted by that uh it's obviously gonna take a while for everything to for everything to come good what do the dandelions do days three days to grow oh see this see this there's three three days before the drought is incoming um, that's problematic because I've just built this water wheel or I'm just about to build this water wheel and that is going to leave us uh, quite literally high and high and dry. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have no way to power we're gonna have no way to power anything. Um, I think we should be fine just in terms of the amount of water that this that this you know we, that we will naturally accumulate in this reservoir. plus we've of course got three water tanks that are full. I think we should be okay. This area should hold enough water. The dam should hold enough water back to keep the vast majority of our crops in good working order. If we don't, well, let me just say that we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, we've got the ability to harvest uh, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of carrots, whether or not we do. Um, I guess we'll I guess we'll wait and see. Right? Um, are we still chopping down? Chopping down trees. I still haven't set up the rest of the tree chopping operation. Right, there we go. Okay, right. One of these lumber one of these lumber huts, lumberjack huts, I'm afraid is gonna have to be moved over here. Yeah. Has to be moved over there. Chop down. Chop down. These are birch trees, aren't they? Yeah, they give us they give us less than the chestnut trees do. That's to be expected. Entirely, entirely fine. Yeah. Right. We still have one and a half days before things go completely, completely wrong for us. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We got some good beaver well-being. Broken teeth. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Can we get a beaver dentist? I hope so. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. We've got a water wheel that is up and running. Power output is 48, 49, 50 horsepower, which is marvelous. And then we need 15 logs in order to get this lumber mill up and running in a suitable fashion. Uh, let's actually crank up the number of hours per day that beavers are working. I know this seems a little unfair, but frankly, I need to get... I need to get this done. I really do need to get this done. And we're only going to be doing it for a little while, he says. It's going to make the beaver's average, you know, happiness go down or whatever, but I don't particularly care. Let's get the lumber mill up and running, and let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do whilst the going is still good. 0 0.8 days until the drought is upon us. Marvelous. Okay. And now let's start seeing if at all possible for us to get these logs turned into planks. We only need a couple in order to actually make use of the forester over here. What is it? Seven planks? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, I appreciate that the journey that my beavers are having to go on is quite extreme. It's taking quite a long time for my beavers to get from one side of the map to the other side of the map, but but that's okay. Right. Do we get two planks? We got three planks. We got three planks before things before things conked out. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go into one time speed so that we can watch our beavers. Yeah. Right. Well, you know what? I think you know what the time is. The time has come. We'll turn it back down. What's going on? Broken teeth. That's a shame. I'm very, very. Cutting chance minus seventy five. That's a, that's a real shame. And you work at the lumberjack pole. Well, maybe you're not the best. Maybe you're not the best place to work at the the lumberjack pole. Now that I think about it. Anyway, that doesn't particularly matter. Let's go back into three times speed. Drought is coming literally in about an hour or two. Yeah, 0, 0.0 days. The water, the drought has officially started. Notification 
has come. Now, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's very, very important to note. Very, very important to note. Yes, look at this. Look at this. The water has stopped flowing from the source. Water source. There we go. It has stopped coming. The trees, by the way, if they don't get water, uh, it's drying out and will die in 10 days. I fully anticipate that we will be that we will be out of the woods, literally and figuratively, um, by the 10 days. But that's just worth keeping in mind. Right. Uh, because I don't want to wait around for things to get better, I'm actually going to get a power wheel, um, which is going to be a beaver-powered beaver powered contraption. We're going to build that on that area over there. Let's get... Let's get some mechanical gears to transfer the power. There we go. And let's just hope that... Let's just hope that that keeps us good. Obviously, we're pouring quite a lot of resources into making this um, power wheel work. Not only is it going to take more wood for a completely redundant uh, measure, it's going to require a, a full-time beaver to, to operate, which is a little bit disappointing. But again, that is what it is. The good news is, is that we're mostly fine for food at the moment. We could maybe even do with an additional farmhouse, or we could do with shrinking the area um, that we have to deal with uh, in terms of harvesting. But whatever, doesn't particularly matter. Uh, looks like... Looks like a couple of uh, a couple of people are dying. A couple of people are growing up, growing up, growing up. That's marvelous. That's what we like to see happening. Um, we only have 2.1 days of drought. I, I mean, I'm pretty convinced that I'm pretty convinced that we'll be fine. I mean, even if the water was to disappear, you know, like that, which it won't, uh, we should still be good. We need 25 more. We need 25 more logs, and we'll probably be able to, uh, be able to get that from just the remaining. The remaining area here. These are some very, very juicy trees that I'm looking forward to taking down. And then also, tell you what, let's... Yeah, the range of this is substantial. Take those out, take those out. Sorry, oh, yeah, I know you're terribly, terribly incapable of cutting, cutting trees because your teeth are broken. That's fine. Anyway, it looks like by the time that the weather is actually better, we're we're maybe just going to have finished this power wheel. That's a bit irritating, isn't it? That is a bit irritating. But as I say, we've managed to get through this drought relatively unscathed. Um, the problem is, really, is that it's... I think from, like, day 10, you can have a chance of a, of a drought on any given cycle. So there's a bit of... There's a bit of guesswork uh, that goes into it, which I think is a good... It's a good little feature. Uh, to be honest. I like that. I like that a lot. Anyway, how are we doing in terms of invention points? We're not doing too bad in terms of invention points. How about... The idea of an, an observatory is intriguing. What do I need for a golem, a golem part factory? 500? 750? Biofuel, refinery... Manufactures fuel out of food and water. Also an observatory. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to... A lot of stuff to do here. A beehive? 400 points. Yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of very expensive things that we could buy. A lot of very, very expensive things that we could buy. Uh, dynamite? Unfortunately, we'd need to buy... Something other than dynamite. There's a hauling post, which I may very well, which I may very well get. It's going to take us ten planks in order to do that, though. So there we go. Literally, as the drought ended, the power wheel, the power wheel starts working. Well, that's great to see. That's absolutely marvelous to see. Look at that. The water is flowing back into. into our little lake here. Thingy's starting to spin. The dam is starting to work. And as you can see, the rest of... The rest of the landscape will now be replenished. Marvelous. Okay. Power wheel, we're going to pause. There's absolutely no reason to keep the power wheel on, uh, on the current mode as it is. Uh, the inventor is going to continue to do his stuff. The forester... Oh, marvelous. Excellent. So the forester is able to continually reforest, which is which is going to be great. Hopefully a massive benefit. 
See, I mean, if you were able to flood sort of this plateau here, that would be so nice. Or actually, I'll tell you what we also can think about doing. Uh, landscaping. Landscaping is brand new. Is absolutely brand new in uh, in this game. Uh, right, a couple of things that I want to get unlocked. First and foremost, we're going to get the, the levy um, unlocked. The floodgate is also probably worth getting. Ooh. For now, let's just leave it with the levy. Sure. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to queue up levy, levy, levy there. Yep, excellent. And then we're going to build some dams on top of this. So that's one way. That's one way that we can ensure that we keep even more water uh, upstream. But again, that's not going to be built for uh, a little while for a variety of reasons, as we will you know, as we will shortly discuss. Um, I need to get the wooden stairs, yoink that, and I'm also going to yoink the platform as well. Now that pretty much, pretty much wipes out uh, everything in terms of, well, in terms of everything. It wipes out, wipes out everything. We've got no more, we've got no more points. But the good news is, is that I should be able to, if I'm not mistaken, create a walkway down to a whole bunch of brand new areas. There we go. Now, how much is this going to cost? Logs, planks. It'll cost a. It'll cost a fair amount. It'll cost a fair amount of planks. Uh, and to be fair, we got six planks at the moment. We're going to need more planks than that. This is kind of at the absolute extremity of of my district. I mean, I'm not super happy with that. What we maybe could think about doing is getting a sec a second um, district center. That is worth worth noting and then we could separate uh we could separate the districts here it's it's very very far away and i don't like that it is it's it's taking a long time for the beavers to get about that's that's less than ideal i'll say that much for sure for sure it's less than ideal right the forester over here can maybe also do Yeah, we'll do that. See if that makes any difference. Okay, cool. Right, the planks, the planks have definitely, it's definitely helped. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely helped. We've definitely made an impact here. Let's get, uh... Let's get some hauler. Let's get some hauler, people. What am I looking for? Yeah, there we go, hauling post. What do we need? 20 logs and 10 planks. Marvelous. Right, the district has just been extended pretty substantially, actually. Got access to this area down here. No, the lumberjack is not yet willing to come down to this area. We do have one unemployed beaver. Uh, the forester will definitely be down here, though. So I think there's a good opportunity here for uh, a couple of things. First of all, lumberjack flag in this vicinity, sets this area up for chopping. These are all quite nice trees, pine trees, I suppose. Uh, so that's good. Hmm. I can actually, I can actually get rid of this can actually get rid of this beaver over here. Oh, man, to be fair, know. this beaver really shouldn't be working here anyway, given that he's got broken teeth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to live with it for now. Right. The building is full. The small warehouse is full. Perhaps I'm making an argument for the establishment of a large warehouse. For now, I'm afraid I'm just going to have to settle for a small warehouse because we, we, we need more basic stuff. Uh, because it's taking such a long time to run all of these ridiculously large number of planks around. Um, it's, it's quite literally that simple. Uh, we got six out of ten planks, so we're getting there. Don't get me wrong. It's it's good, but it's, it's taking its sweet time. Right. Um, we've got children, grown up, grown up, died of old age. Yeah, I mean, we've got one child that we are waiting for at the moment. We've got one. We've got one child. That is it. Um, not exactly ideal. We have no unemployment, which is a bit of a shame. 
which is a bit of a shame indeed. Right, should we get a rooftop terrace? I mean, we can do that now, right? Like, why don't we do that? In fact, why don't we check out what other buildings we can get? Teeth grindstone. Oh, I didn't even... Didn't even put two and two together. Of course, yeah, absolutely. That's so, like, reasonable that you're able to, you know, like, grind your teeth back to... Back to good condition. So delighted for all these people that think it's appropriate to be grinding their teeth back to... Back to full... Full health. Um... Let's get the rooftop terrace over here. Let's get uh, some stairs. Sure, why not? 15 logs, couple of planks, couple of logs. Let's actually prioritize that so that we can get the other thing done. Cool. So the teeth grindstone, is that, that going to make people happy now? I hope so. Right, what else can we do? Wet fur. Yeah, how the heck do we solve wet fur? Clearly, people need to go for uh, a bit of a swim. Showering, I think, is a brand new... Showering is a brand new... Uh, it's a brand new thing, isn't it? I say, I think it is. I, I think I know it is. I think I know it is. Goodness gracious me. Well-being. There we go. Look at that. Shower. Wet fur. Um, that's easy to do. Let's do that. Refreshed with a shower? I mean, does it need to be near? Yeah, it does need to be near. Need to be near the edge of the water. Um, that's a pretty perfect place for it, to be honest. Cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Medical bed to solve injuries. Don't think I'm overly bothered. Six vacancies? Why are there six vacancies? Ah, the hauling post. Lumberjack flag. Uh, I mean... I don't understand how there's six vacancies. I can understand how there's definitely a couple, but... Six seems a little daft. There's nobody nobody here. I mean, I would like to move the guy from... I could say the guy. The beaver from over here. This this lumber lumberjack post can probably be demolished. Um, this hauling post, I appreciate, can probably be paused for now. It wasn't really a priority when I when I built it. Just definitely, definitely something that I wanted to do, but not uh, not major. Um, we should now satisfy the rooftop terrace and the wet fur uh, the wet fur requirement, uh, which is which is marvelous. Look, there's even a little popularity graph. That's that's very very cool. Uh, but what we really need. Yeah, 2-7. Somebody died of old age. We really need some more... Some more births, to be honest. And you know what I should probably do if I want to encourage some more births? I should probably give people, like, the opportunity to move out into... You know, a house... A house outside their, their parents. That's probably a, a fantastic thing to do. Right, your beavers are happier than ever. You've reached a new beaver well-being high score. Marvelous. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. Right, okay, now that I've got the ability to get, uh... Now that I've got the ability to get beavers elevated, elevated onto the second floor, that is, why don't I do something like this? Right, because this... This is when we go here, we do platform, we just build literally all the way along. How cool is that? How cool is that? That is freaking cool. Go here, down here. Literally like so. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Prioritize this, prioritize this at the highest degree. Prioritize this at the highest degree. Everything else can, can sort of wait. Uh, yeah, we absolutely categorically need to try and uh, flesh out our population a little bit. That building is full, but the other warehouse is not full, and I'm not going to worry about... Um, micromanaging the, the different warehouses at this moment in time. But yeah, the houses being being built, fantastic. We're gonna have another grown up uh, grown up couple of people. That's marvelous. Yeah, so already we're starting to see a lot of planks and it's gonna take a lot of planks in order to build this. I would probably imagine that we're gonna end up getting an additional an additional lumber mill at some point soon. Is it worth another district center? Not yet, I don't think. We're going to need a gear workshop as well. We're going to need a paper mill. We're going to need a printing press, a tapper's shack, unconnected building. 
Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that video game. Oh, I see. We're building all of the, the lodges in the first instance. Uh, can we maybe pause? Pause. 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 Yeah, maybe, maybe work on everything else first. Uh, it literally will not take very long, but... I say that. It might take a, it might take a while. Right, wet fur is apparently... People are big into wet fur here, which is great. Love to see it. Love to see it. Right, is that all of our beaver well-being things? Rooftop terrace, campfire. Might get another shower. I might do it, you know, for all of ten logs and one plank. It's a pretty pretty agreeable thing to do. Uh, I'd love to get another I'd love to get another lumber mill at this present moment, but we can't because we just simply do not have uh, we don't have the beavers. You know, as much as I wish we did, we just don't have them. The good news is, yeah. Two nine, somebody was born. That's excellent. Uh, three days until Three days until we start to see some action uh, on the drought front, which I think is totally, totally, totally adequate, and we are... Uh, we're pretty well prepared for it. We're pretty well prepared for it. I'm not anticipating that this drought is going to be more challenging than the last one. It's going to be a little bit annoying. I mean, we do have the shower. I presume that the shower isn't going to make a tremendous difference to the grand scheme of things. Building lacks workers. Oh, the gatherer's flag doesn't have a worker? Oh, that was a death. That was a, a died of old age sort of situation there. Yeah, that, that is deeply problematic. I mean, if people keep dying, then then that's really, really annoying. Um, the forester, you know what? We'll pause the forester. You can go back to, to doing gathering or whatever. Pause the lumberjack flag over here because we don't need we don't need more lumberjacks than that. You're fine as is. Uh, yeah, what we really just need is is more planks. That is the, the sad reality of the situation. And I would love, like, dearly, dearly, dearly love the ability to get more planks at a faster pace, but that's okay. We got four children. That's marvelous. Two children. Two children were born literally over the course of the course of a day. Yeah, we still have one lower lodge that is empty, which will no doubt get filled uh, pretty quickly. But that's fine. Uh, we got 269 points. Got one beaver that is currently unemployed. Which I find uh, incredible and marvelous. Let's prioritize that. Building lacks construction materials. I mean, I did kind of go a bit over. I, d I went a bit over the top. I mean, it's going to get built at some point. It's just whether or not it gets built like anytime soon. That's the question. Uh, but the fact that we've got one beaver that is unemployed, I think, is a is a success. That is that is something that we like to see. That is that is good news, all things considered. Uh, the power wheel will. The power wheel will get turned on, over the course of the drought, which is going to be happening in about a day. Which is fine. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this tree regrowth. It's marvelous. Oh, I was going to get. Um, I was going to get some trees over here. Let's do that. And then let's... Yeah, let's allow this forester to go to work. I think that's a good... I think that's a good compromise. Yeah, I think that's a great compromise, actually. I think we can be pretty happy with that. Okay, we got loads and loads of food. I mean, plenty, plenty of food. Our warehouse is literally brimming with food. In fact, both warehouses are brimming with food. Can we get a bigger warehouse? That seems like such a waste of research points, doesn't it? An underground warehouse. Capacity 1,000. Going to cost me 80 planks to build? Um, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks at all. The drought's officially started. I wonder if whilst the drought is in... Whilst the drought is in full effect, we... We think about creating a brand new district. I just don't like the... I don't like this sort of arrangement that we've got at the moment. It's either that or maybe we try and... Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Let's... Let's go... What am I looking for? Demolish. Yeah. Demolish that. Let's get a path out here. Let's get a... Let's 
get a dam out over here. We've got not quite enough wood there yet, unfortunately, to, to squeeze everything in here. But I'm thinking, if we're able to do this, build a pathway across here, I'm thinking that maybe that's going to provide us the opportunity that we need in order to get a brand new lumber mill over here. Or at least, it's not going to provide the opportunity, but it's going to at least give us the ability uh, to not suck. Which is an ability that I've been seeking for the entirety of my adult life. Right, so this can provide up to 50 horsepower. This requires how much? The lumber mill requires 50 horsepower. Yeah, so this is not exactly... Not exactly a perfect situation, is it? Thankfully, I don't think that we lose any... I don't think we lose any power in the... Uh, in the situation. Right, anyway, yeah, let's get the... Let's get the dam built. Let's get the dam built. I don't I don't understand why it's taking such a long time. We've got 46 logs. Let's, let's use them. Let's use those logs. This guy is useless. I mean... I, I say useless. It's not useless. What we could do, what we can do, is we can take the path out here. Take the path along there. That doesn't actually make a difference. Okay, so this dude is totally useless then. Okay, fine. Delete the lumber flag. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. And be gone. Be gone. Right, unpause here. Have we marked these trees? Mark these trees for deconstruction, which is great. And also, we should pause this, uh, unpause this power wheel because we can at least get a little bit of extra horsepower uh, to make this area purr. And we'll get a lumberjack flag over here as well for good measure. Why not? We also could start using the hauling post if we need to, which is not a big deal. You are thirsty, and yet there's plenty of water still left to drink here. How long does this drought last? I didn't even I didn't even check. 0 0.6 days left. Plenty, plenty, plenty of time. An absolutely plentiful amount of time. But yeah, as long as we're building planks, then we're gonna we're gonna make some progress. We're gonna make some sick, sick, sick progress. Which is gonna be great. Right. Okay, we've got 400 points. I think I maybe want to beeline for the observatory. Beavers gain more knowledge about the world that they live in. It's going to cost me 80 planks, 30 gears, and then some sap as well by the looks of things. But speaking of, I should also probably get... I should also probably get another inventor as well, which will be handy. Uh, it looks like the drought has officially ended. We have got water coming back, which is just marvelous. Honestly, you love to see it. You love to see it in a major, major way. That is fantastic. Let's prioritize getting this lumberjack flag up and running. And then eventually, 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 this will all, it'll all pan out. This is looking good. This is looking absolutely fantastic. I'm happy with all of this. I'm happy with all this. Also, I'm seeing another route for the river here. I mean, all we'd need to do is maybe divert this river down here. And we've got ourselves like a... It's a bit of a deep cavern, but there's definitely like the opportunity to get, you know, more more flow. Same with flooding this plateau. I think that would be quite useful. Very, very useful, in fact. We have one beaver free. Yeah. Okay, we got three more. Deprioritize that. Deprioritize that. Prioritize that. Prioritize that. Prioritize that. Nice. Some second floor beavers. You love to see it. And am I cutting? Yeah, I'm cutting all these trees, which is great. That should make some that should make some pretty gnarly progress there. And in fact, maybe even a log pile over here might be might be better. I didn't even think of doing something as simple as that. Log pile. Yep. Beautiful. Prioritize building it. It's just that simple. Uh, that also needs to get prioritized. That also needs to get prioritized. Lots of prioritization, to be fair. Lots of prioritization. But we've got 47 logs. It seems to be just 
just the planks that we that we don't need. Uh, and we'll get hauling. We'll get uh, we'll get the hauling post up and running as soon as we have a few more a few more beavers. Uh, but it looks like I mean three two. I mean yeah, we got loads of people, loads of people, loads of beavers that are being born at a pretty aggressive rate here, which is which is really really great to see. I am happy with that. Happy with the rate of beaver expansion. Very, very happy indeed. How's this coming along? There we go. Literally one last bit of dam to go. And that's going to allow for unimpeded access. Why am I building... Why am I building dams? I'm realizing I'm building dams. I have no reason to be building dams. I could just be using... I could just be using these platforms, which are about, what, a bajillion times cheaper? Oh, well. Well, we built it now. This is a... It's a redundant... It's a redundancy. It's a redundancy measure. You wouldn't understand it. It's a redundancy measure. Anyway. Uh, that makes this area a lot less terrible, right? Eh, not really. It will make it less terrible. Can I... Cancel this. Yeah, you know what? Just cancel it. Just honestly cancel it. Platform. Full speed ahead. Uh, literally, I, I don't even know what I was thinking. But that'll be built in all of 13 microseconds. Or it should be anyway. Once we have the... Once we have the planks. Three out of four planks. Good stuff. There we go. Excellent. Right, path gets built. And suddenly, this all becomes reasonably accessible, which is great to see. Okay. And the even better thing is, is that now the route that this lumberjack needs to take is very, very short. The forester, unfortunately, is not in a particularly accessible location. But that is what it is. We we cannot do anything about that. That's that's the way that the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Uh, in other good news, it looks like. What do you mean this isn't connected to any buildings by paths? Oh, of course it's not connected to any buildings by paths. There's not a path along the top here. There we go. Okay, we've got ourselves two brand new two brand new lodges, and it'll be very very interesting to see when dwellers move into these lodges. Uh, we will unpause the construction of all of these. Cool. Uh, I do have rather a lot of food, which I'm thinking maybe is somewhat of a drawback. It's not exactly ideal. Everybody has shelter. That's a lie. Uh, campfire. Not everybody chooses to use the campfire. Might even be a busyness thing. Like, not everybody might be able to get in on the campfire action at, at all times, but... Whatever. Anyway, I, I think we're reasonably happy about this. This power wheel can get stopped. I have no idea why that's still running. Uh, absolutely no reason for it to continue to do so. Um, I'm also thinking maybe I want to get another Forester. It's a shame that the Forester couldn't perhaps be in a slightly more central location. Yeah, the bad news is that when we destroy things, we don't get... I kind of need the forester to be over here. I kind of, I kind of really want to do. Yeah, I kind of really want to do forestery things over here. I'm afraid, video game. Um, also, in other good news, we're up to 600. We're up to 600 research points. Let's every time that I think about research points. Let's go and let's go and get that sorted. Let's go and get that sorted. Also, um, building share power with adjacent buildings. I probably could have just fed all of this, fed all of this water wheel into into one building, but yeah, whatever. It doesn't doesn't matter. Right. That goes in Priorityville. It's excellent. Cut trees. Okay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's quite literally it in terms of trees. Like we've got a few more which we can definitely get. I mean, these are these are some old some old birch ones. Plant trees and bushes. Let's get some let's get some more stuff. Right. So we're going to get birch. 
We're gonna get some pine. We're gonna get some maple. And we're gonna get some chestnut. You can kind of see that this is far from ideal, but I do think that it is very, very important that we get it done. And in fact, you know what? We're even going to start work on the chestnut trees from over at that side. That's fine. Again, we are very, very limited to our growing area. We're very limited in terms of the fact that we just don't have enough wood uh, either. Now, what we can also do is we can also get a gatherer flag down over here. We can prioritize that being built super quickly, and then we can mark all of these trees for, or I guess remark all these trees for deconstruction. That's definitely an option to do. Um, we should also enable this haulers post. There's no reason not to get uh, haulers to help move things around. Uh, I'm also going to maybe empty the storage of this log pile. Uh, because I think I'd rather have logs stored all the way over here. I mean, it's a little bit inconvenient to get to. I'll grant, I'll grant you that. But on the whole, I think it'll be, I think it'll be just fine. Set this entire plateau up for chopping down. And we'll be in a good place after that, I think. Yeah, what are we doing in terms of in terms of wood over here? I think we're prioritizing building the forester, which is fine. Don't get me wrong, it's absolutely fine. Prioritizing building the forester. Oh, we also prioritize building the lodges as well. That was maybe not a great decision. All of these lodges are empty, bar one. Uh, the good news is, is that we frankly have more children than ever. Uh, but of course, with more children, you know, comes more comes more mouths to feed. That is, uh, that is slightly, slightly problematic. There we go. Chop that down. Chop that down. Aha! Marvelous. Excellent. Okay, so the Forester is going to work, and that's going to help out tremendously. Not sure that it's going to fix... Not sure that it's going to fix our situation for good, but it's at least going to make somewhat of a difference. Let's get that up there, that up there, and we'll start to try and get up here. Yeah, there. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's see if that uh, takes very long. I don't think it will. I think we actually have more planks than we know what to do with at the moment. Relatively speaking, of course, uh, we've only got seven of the darn things, so it's not exactly like we're swimming in planks, but it's it's better than nothing. Um, we are technically on a very technical level. Um, we are technically making two lots of planks at the same time, although it is taking longer than... I mean, it's taking exactly the same time to make two planks because we're splitting the power, so we're actually making the same number of planks in a given time frame here. But that's no bad thing to have, you know, two inputs. Uh, the good news is, is that we're working towards the next water wheel, which is, which is marvelous. Uh, and we're probably, to be honest, heading into the next drought as well, which is something that we will have to consider, but not something that we'll have to consider uh, massively. One vacancy. Where's the vacancy? Does that count as the, the power wheel? Is that... Is that where it is? I think that's where it is. That's literally where our vacancy is. Okay, well, that is... That's fine. Uh, the other thing that we need to bear in mind, is our water pump a suitable way of uh, continuing to extract water? I think it is. Not entirely sure. Uh, it does seem like our water storage is going down. Which again, would strike me as a little bit of a problem. And look at that, it's a very, very early drought. Um, which I wouldn't necessarily consider hugely problematic, but it is what it is. Right, uh, can I get... I can cut down this stuff up here. That's marvelous. Uh, let's path. Let's path this and let's see how. Yeah, see how much extra it adds. It does add a lot, and in fact, we're going to be able to start work on these on these levees and these dams. I think there is a very very small chance that we're actually able to complete this 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 building project before the before the bad times hit. Yep, 
Yeah. I think we're going to have to build the dam first and then out to the to the levee. I mean, we have 35... We do have 35... Um, 35 logs. We'll get the hauler. We'll get the hauler to, to help move things around quicker. Um, that'll be nice. Oh, look. Lots more of these... Lots more of these cabins have got, uh, have got lights on. That's marvelous. Right. I mean, we have 1.9 days. I mean, it's not out with the realm of possibility that we... That we end up getting this done in the time frame. The unfortunate thing is that it's a bit it's a bit of an all-or-nothing situation. It's like we either we either get it done before the drought or it's done too late, and then the drought the drought will already will already impact us. Um, but to be honest, we just kind of have to hope that we've got enough. Lives in lodge, works at district center. Oh yeah, I can get more I can get more builders here. Let's do that. There we go. That's four builders. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh... Let's put working hours up to 24 for now. Because we have the... We have the wood to do it. Or at least if we don't have the wood to do it, we're going to be pretty darn close. Even if we get the, the levy done, that's, that's at least going to make a huge difference. Um, the alternative option, by the way, instead of the levy over here... I could always do, I could always do a, I could always do a floodgate. A double floodgate. Give me a double floodgate. This is a good time to experiment. Yeah. Double floodgate in right here. So, the thing about the floodgate is that we're going to be able to... Yeah, we're going to be able to move it around and take it up to where it needs to go. Prioritize this to the very, very highest degree. We need 20 logs, 0 0.9 days. And then what we can do is we can manually, as and when we need to, we can release water down into the, to the damned section. The damned section makes it sound very, very necrotic. The damned section. There we go. Fantastic. 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 Okay, so that'll be that'll be really, really nice. That'll be really, really nice. It's not perfect. Again, we could probably have just put a second a second levy in there, uh, now that I think about it. But of course when we start first started this construction project, we didn't even have um, we didn't even have the double floodgate. And in fact, there may very well be a bit of an overflow issue with the amount of water that is required here. If we put it down to one point five, that that's on that's on on an even level with the dam. Oh, a little bit of overspill. I don't think that that sh Don't think that that should be a long-term thing. I suspect there was just a little bit too much water here. And then, um, and then that overflowed a little bit. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty decent. That is pretty decent. Cut trees. There we go. Chop down those trees as well. Okay, cool. Uh, is there any inkling that we're going to be able to maintain any element of water flow? Probably not. I don't think that we're going to be able to keep these these water wheels on the go. I think that will be... I think that will be unfortunate. But that being said, we have officially started. We've started the process. We've started the process of water manipulation. And, um, and I fully intend, I fully intend to continue that. Let's get to the start of the drought. Let's see what the, uh, the drought will throw at us. I gotta be honest, I'm not particularly worried. Uh, yep. The drought has officially started, which is, which is excellent. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is that, as I said earlier, we don't really have enough water to keep the water pump in a pumped up condition. So I think I might, maybe, water dump? I don't want a water dump. No siree. Not a water dump. Uh, mark resources. There we go. Get rid of these, please. And we'll get ourselves a water pump in here. When we can. There we go. Marvelous. And a little path over there. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, the, the sort of 
counterpoint to this is that's a pretty long it's a pretty long drought actually you know five days is five days is nothing to sniff at let's turn this power wheel on beautiful right so the counterpoint is is that we will have no, just turn that there we go turn that off um, yeah, we'll have more water, we'll have more water being pumped out here, because it needs to be pumped out here, right? Like, there's no other, there's no other way to go around, uh, to go, to go about dealing with that. You know, there, there's literally, there's literally no other way. Uh, that being said, though, we're, of course, gonna have less water in this reservoir, which probably means less ability to shower. Oh, Beaver is injured. Oh, no. See, this is a brand new, this is a brand new thing as well. Um, Beaver well-being, medical bed. when supplied by medicine with a healer. Uh, okay, you know what? We don't need that. I guess we just stick up literally a medical bed out in the middle of nowhere. That's fine. Anyway, the water is being pumped out of this reservoir here at present. I think I'm okay with that because I have the opportunity to, uh, to add manually uh, water back into here. Right, medical bed. Let's get... Yeah, the beaver, the beaver that needs healing is in the medical bed. Easy peasy. Right, 853 points. I am very, very keen. Uh, building lacks power. Yeah, not enough power. I am very, very keen to get... Uh, to get the observatory, which is what I'm probably going to do. Also, we're still on 24-hour beaver cycle. Let's actually reduce that down to 16 hours. Yeah. Beavers are, on the whole, quite unhappy because they haven't been able to eat and they haven't been able to drink in, like, a few days. So, let's fix that. I suspect that we're probably going to run out of water very, very soon indeed. Very, very soon indeed. Oh, there we go. It's literally just happened. It's literally just happened. Okay, so what happens, what happens when we run out of water? As you will start to see, literally all of the greenery will recede. Which is why it's so absolutely critically important. Let's drop that to one. Let's drop that to one. It's absolutely critically important that we always keep a reserve of water. Now, um, what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and let a little bit of water out at a time. And in fact, that's going to spin the wheels. I mean, it's not going to spin the wheels much, but it's at least going to spin them a little bit. Let, let a little bit of the water out. Hopefully none of it goes to waste. If any of it sort of starts slipping over the... Slipping over the dam. In fact, maybe even before it does. Actually, no. What am I talking about? There's... There's enough leeway here. Yeah, we should be... We should be able to let it... Let it rise up a little bit more. Is that it? Oh, there's still a little bit more coming. Again, we can drop this down. We have more... We have more supplies. We have more supplies here. Uh, we've taken a good a good chunk of uh, a good chunk of it out, but we've got more water. We can always drop it to zero point five. We can drop the floodgate to zero point five, and we can drop it below that to uh, to zero. In fact, which is which is what we will do uh, if we need to. That is that is pretty incredible. I'm I'm very very happy with that. Uh, yeah. Honestly, all good. You clearly need to get demolished. There's absolutely no reason to keep uh, to keep you around. I think that should be... Yeah, that's beavers in every cabin bar like one or two. That's that's on the whole not too bad. We got 59. Uh, 59 logs. Which is fine and dandy. Could do with Could do with more power. Could do with more beaver power. Could do with more beaver science. But we're actually growing very, very close to getting this observatory building. Now, of course, getting the observatory building isn't really everything because we need 80 planks. We've only got 42. And we need gears as well. And gears are a thing that I have not even really started to look at. I mean, a gear workshop needs... Needs 120 horsepower. I mean, flip the neck, that's a lot of horsepower. Uh, we can get a gear workshop in here. Share power with, uh, with adjacent buildings. Let's do it. But there's clearly there's clearly a lot more a lot more pieces to the puzzle, um, which we will have to explore at a future date. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Timberborn. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato. 
This is the Golem update. I'm very, very, very much looking forward to checking out Golems in the next episode, uh, which there will be. So tune in for that. But for now, from me, thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.